The vertex form of an equation is an alternate way of writing out the equation of a parabola. The equation of a parabola or the quadratic equation is written as ax squared plus bx plus c, which, when graphed, of course, will be a parabola. From this form, it is easier to find the roots of the equation, where the parabola touches the x-axis by equating it to zero or by using the quadratic formula. However, if you need the vertex of a parabola, it will be easier if you will convert the quadratic equation into the vertex form. Let us have an example on how to convert a quadratic function to a vertex form, wherein vertex is hk. So here our example is f of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 5. To start, let us let f of x be equal to y, so it will become an equation. So let's write y for f of x and then copy the rest, x squared plus 4x minus 5. Then to convert it to vertex form, the first thing that you have to do is transpose the constant, which is the negative 5, to the other side. And then later, we will return it again. So now we have y, and then when you transpose negative 5 to the other side, it will become positive 5. Then after that, leave a space here, then equals, copy the rest. So we have x squared plus 4x. After you transpose the constant, this x squared plus 4x on the right side, we have to make it a perfect square trinomial. And to do that, what we need to do is to apply completing the square, wherein we have to add b over 2 square on both sides. So let's see. In our equation, this is our a, then this one is b, and this is c. So it means that if we have b over 2 squared, then b will become 4, then over 2 squared. And solve for it, 4 over 2 will have 2 squared, wherein it will also be equal to 4. So it means that we need to add positive 4 on this side. So positive 4. And also, to make it balance, we also need to add 4 on the other side. So we have plus 4 and plus 4 both sides. Then after that, simplify. So let's just copy y. And then 5 plus 4, you will have 9. Okay? And then equal to this expression. So this expression, since it's already a perfect square trinomial, we can factor them. So to factor them, we just need to get the square root of the first and the last term. So square root of x squared is x. Then square root of 4 is 2. And just copy the positive sign. And then after that, we need to add an exponent of 2 because this is a perfect square trinomial. So now, after you factor this perfect square, we may now return the constant from this side. So we have positive 9 and transpose it on the other side. We'll now have y is equal to x plus 2 squared and then positive 9 will become negative 9. So now, this is the vertex form of this quadratic function. And to look for the vertex, so vertex is equal to hk in our equation. h is here and k is here. So your vertex will become negative 2 and then for k, we have negative 9. H became negative since in the formula, it's negative. So we need to get the opposite of positive 2. Actually, we can also solve for H and K using the following formula. For H, it is equal to negative B over 2A. And for K, it is equal to 4AC minus B squared over 4A. So let us solve for H and K and then graph them later. But before we start solving, before we start substituting, we need to identify the values of A, B, and C. So in our equation, this one is A, 
it means a is equal to 1 because 1 is the numerical coefficient of x squared. And then the second one is for b. As you can see, it is positive 4. And then for c, the last term, that will be equal to negative 5. Okay, now let's start substituting the values. So h will be equal to negative b, so negative, and then b is equal to 4. And for the denominator, we have 2 times a, so a must be changed with 1. Okay, then simplify. Copy negative 4. 2 times 1 will be 2. Then divide. Negative 4 divided by 2, you will have negative 2. So the value of h is equal to negative 2. Now, let's solve for k. k is equal to 4ac. So, 4 times a, a is 1, and then times c, the value of c is negative 5, minus b squared. So, b we have here is 4 and squared. Okay, for the denominator, we have 4a, 4 times 1. And now, let us simplify the numerator. So, 4 times 1 is equal to 4 times negative 5, that will be negative 20 minus 4 squared, 4 times 4 will be equal to 16. So let's write 16 here. Over the denominators, 4 times 1, you will have 4. Now let us simplify. So we have here in the numerator, negative 20 minus 16. Both are negative, so your answer must also be negative. And then add the number. 20 plus 16, you will have 36. So we have negative 36 divided by the numerator 4. Negative 36 divided by 4, you will have an answer of negative 9. So the value of k is equal to negative 9. If we will write our vertex, it will become negative 2, that's for h, and then negative 9. Okay, now we will use this vertex to complete our table of values that we will use later in graphing. So, negative 2 and negative 9, we will place it in the middle of the table of values. 2 for x and then 9. Okay? And later, we will be solving for the values of y. And for x, let's just assign values. So, let's subtract and add 1 to negative 2. Subtract 1, it will become negative 3. Subtract again 1, it will become negative 4. And then, on the other side, let's add 1. Negative 2 plus 1, you'll have negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1, you'll have 0. Now, we will be using this values of x to find the value of y. And to do that, we will be using this equation and substitute the value of x. Let us start with negative 4. So, the equation is x squared plus 4x minus 5. Let's change x with negative 4. So, negative 4 squared plus 4 times negative 4 minus 5. Then simplify. Negative 4 times negative 4, you'll have 16. Then 4 times negative 4, you'll have negative 16 and then minus 5. So, 16 times 16, that will just be cancelled out. Now, we only have negative 5. So, negative 5 for y. Then, next, let's proceed with the negative 3. Substitute from the given equation, x squared plus 4x minus 5. Let's change x into negative 3. So, negative 3 squared plus 4 times negative 3 minus 5. Negative 3 times negative 3, you will have positive 9. And 4 times negative 3, that will be negative 12 and copy negative 5. Then so, 9 minus 12, that will become negative 3. And then minus 5. Combine these two, both are negative, so you have to add and copy the sign of the given. So it will be 3 plus 5, that's 8, then copy the negative sign. So we have negative 8 for our second y value, negative 8. Next, 
Let us now solve for negative 1. Same equation. We have x squared plus 4x minus 5. This from the given. Okay. Then substitute negative 1. So we'll have negative 1 squared plus 4 times negative 1 minus 5. So negative 1 squared, that will become 1. 4 times negative 1, that's negative 4. Then minus 5. Okay, 1 and negative 4, that will become negative 3 minus 5. Both are negative again, so we need to add the number and copy the sign. So negative 3 plus 5 will be 8. We have negative 8 as the value of y, so let's write negative 8. Okay, last one, let's proceed with 0. So let's change the variable x into 0. Using the same equation, it will become 0 squared plus 4 times 0 minus 5. So 0 squared cancel. 4 times 0 cancel. Now we only have negative 5 as the last value of y. So let's write negative 5. Now let's graph. Let's start with this pair. We have negative 4 for x. So, the negative side of x is here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5 for y, and that's negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, let's see, their intersection is over here, so that's our first mark. Okay. Okay, then proceed. Next we have negative 3 and negative 8. So for x, negative 3 is here. 1, 2, 3. And then it's negative 8 and y-axis. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's check their intersection. Negative 3 and 8. Okay, here it is. Then... Third point, we have negative 2 and negative 9. Let's see the negative 2 in our x-axis. So 1, 2. And then 9 for y, negative. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's check their intersection. It's over here. Okay, and that is the vertex of our parabola. Let's make it color blue. Okay, then let's proceed with the next one, which is negative 1 and negative 8. Negative 1 for x, so 1. And then 8 for y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's see their intersection. 1, then 8. It's here. And, and the last one, we have 0 and negative 5. Since x has no value we may now count for x instead we will just be counting for y which is negative 5 so let's see negative 5 it's below 1 2 3 4 5 and let's mark it with a red pen okay now it's complete we may now connect them using a line let's see so it's here okay connect and and yeah, that is our parabola.